Hello, it's Kai from Medica. In this video, we will discuss about what are good features for a surgical light. Surgical light is an inevitable and essential equipment in the surgical room. It is to let the doctor and medical staff to see the surgical area clearly with good vision and good identification among the different tissues, organs, especially to distinguish the diff bad and good tissues. The light system is consisted with three major parts. The up fixing frame for the light, which is above the ceiling, and it's not visible. We will introduce how we can install a light firmly and steadily in a special video. And the second part is the, the spring arm. And the spring arm is to hold the lamp and to position the lamp in the designed position. And we can move either the railing here or we can pull the buckle here to position the light we need. And the spring arm, the good feature is that it will not float after you position it. And this light we have installed here for two years and with operation daily, it still can hold the lamp firmly after you stop moving it. And the third part is the lamp itself. So mechanically, for a good surgical lamp, it has to have a proper installation and good quality stable spring arm. And now for the next step, we will introduce the lamp itself regarding the light parameters. The first index of the surgical light we will introduce is the lux. Lux is the parameter of the brightness of the light. Let's operate the table to a, a normal surgical position. And we can see the surgical area, we can see the brightness of the light. For normal people to understand the lux easily, let's take an example. 100,000 lux is equal to the light at middle noon under a sunshiny day in the summer. So we can imagine what is the brightness of 100,000 lux. But it doesn't mean the higher legs the better because the higher legs will influence the sight of the doctors will feel uncomfortable the normal surgical lux is around 4000 40000 to 50000 lux and for this light we have a scope of adjusting the light lux to zero to 160,000 lux. All the parameters are adjusted from this touchable screen. And let's start with lux. We press the lux and the icon will be on green, so it's on function. And then we press plus, the lux will be increased. And if we minus, you can see the light is being weak. The second important index for the surgical lamp is the color temperature. Especially the color temperature has to be adjustable to be a good feature. The color temperature is measured in the parameter of Kelvins. Sometimes we call it a K in short. And generally the red and yellow color is the low temperature while the white and blue color is in high Kelvins. And different color temperature, they can reflect the virtual color of the organs and tissues in different degree. The higher color temperature, it can better reflect the virtual color of the organs. So the doctors, they can easily identify the different tissues. But it doesn't mean the higher color temperature the better because the surgical process is taking time. So the high temperature 
of the color, lighter color, it will cause fatigue. And we can also, the color temperature can be adjusted from the touchable screen. It's in the middle. We adjust it with minus and decreasing. So we can see the different lighter color. By adjusting the touchable screen, uh, we set up the color temperature around 3000 K. And now we can feel the light is a little bit yellow and we feel warm. So on this condition, the doctors will not get fatigue easily. And, but as we can see from uh, the picture, and this mode, the color difference between the different organs and veins cannot reflect very clearly. So now we adjust the color temperature to a high level, about 5000 K Kelvins. And now we can feel the light is very cold, it's very bright. And now from this mode, we can see the color difference of um, organs, veins, tissues are very clear. Additionally, from the color temperature adjusting, we provide another mode of the green light. If we put on the green light, and we can see there is green light on the table. And the green light is a good index for the R13, which is good for the skin surgery. It can let the doctor easily to do the skin surgery. For the excellent shader rate, because we adopt the new technology of the light compensation, uh, we have different sensors in the lamp and the sensor they will detect if there is obstacle underneath. If they detect it, they will give the sensors, they will give signals to the system. Then the other lights will be, has big power to make sure the light spot has the same brightness even with the obstacle underneath here. And the fourth index is the shadow race rate. And for the surgical lamp, we also say it shadow race surgical light. It means with obstacle underneath the surgical lamp, we still can see the light spot clearly. Let's show you. If I'm standing here with another doctor standing there, our heads and shoulders, obviously we stop the light but from the lighter spots, we still can see clearly. And nowadays, more and more surgeries are minor surgery, which are being done by endoscope equipment. Not as open surgery old days. The endoscope surgery, they don't need open the body, which needs white and strong illumination. So we provide laparoscopy mode for the light with minimized barbers. The third important index for the lamp is the temperature rising time. For a surgery, normally it will last for a few hours or even more. So it's difficult for doctor and medical staff to stand under the lamp with a lot of heat. They will not feel comfortable. So the good feature for the light is that it should not rise the temperature dramatically. And for us, we designed this lamp with the new technology lens, with good feature of light transmission. It means we can use the minimized power to generate enough legs. So from the wide scape, it will not generate a lot of heat from power itself. And also, we have the cover in aluminum. This will dispense the heat maximum. Now let's make a summary for the good features to be a good surgical lamp when you are considering to order or purchase a surgical light. First is the proper installation. 
Second is the flexible and stable spring arm. The third is the bright and even light spot. And the fourth is the shadow race rate, even with our stacker. And the fifth is the slow temperature rising. And the sixth is the light compensation with our stacker, if we have this option. And more, maybe if we have more operation modes for laparoscopy or other surgery, that will be also a good consideration. Thanks for watching.